Hi there, thank you for joining me today. I'm back with another uh, technique using dye-based inks, um, water, cling film and a brayer if you have one but you don't have to do that. I've used both ways. And I first saw this technique um, maybe five to six years ago Barbara Gray from Clarity she did this and um, I'd forgotten all about it until I found some backgrounds um, in my to finish box so you also what you do need is the coated card now any coated glossy glossy card will suffice I still have some of the Clarity card and it's coated silk um, and I'm, that's what I'm using today. But as long as you have some kind of glossy card, um, I haven't tried it on photographic card yet so there's a thought. And it's just lovely. There's nothing there because I needed to keep my hand on there. Um, but. Can you imagine butterflies, die cut, um, or a background? So that's using just two colours. There's another. I'll put that to one side because I'm going to use these two colours again. Um, I am really limited now with uh, Adirondack ink pads. I've had these for so long, I think um, they are drying out. So I made this one with Adirondack and I didn't really cover the blue with the pink the way I should have done. But I really like uh, the finish on this. Those swirls and lines and marks I think are wonderful. So I do have a brayer. I used the brayer on this card. And then I thought, why don't I just do ink pad to the card? And that's what I'm doing today. So, I've also changed ink pads and I'm using uh, the hybrid ones that you got from uh, the Papercraft Society uh, prescription box. Now I only did three boxes, but used to get three, well, you'd get three inks in each box. So I am using one from the Paper Craft Society and the other is a Nouveau Hybrid. That's Rubber Duck and this one doesn't have a colour. So I'm going with pink first. And remember, it's up to you. If you want to try your brayer and load the ink, onto the brayer if you want to remove some excess the way Barbara Gray does that's up to you but you can add and add and add okay so I'm just going to make some circles like that the longest part of creating this background is waiting for the ink to dry which can take I found five to ten minutes and I'm going to do a full card here because I can get possibly two two backgrounds depending what sort I'm going what sort of card I'm going to make so that's like that now what I did on the previous one I did think it might be a little bit too juicy, so just with a piece of paper towel. It's not much come off there. And then with the Rubber Duck Nouveau Hybrid, I'll go over. Now 
Now with the cling film, I can remember Barbara, she dampened the cling film, where spritzed the cling film. Um, I did that on the first one, and then I've just gone straight to the card. So I'm going to do that, just some gentle spritz. And put this on like so and then the technical part scrunch it and you leave it like that for at least five minutes. It will do that, but we can smooth that out. You leave it for at least five minutes, then check, you know, just by lifting this up, well, you can see it's still very wet. If you want, you can put a weight on it, um, which I will, just like so, and um, give it five to 10 minutes. And if it's still a little bit damp, then just use your heat gun from a distance and a gentle heat to it. And then what you will achieve are these fabulous backgrounds. So I hope you give that a try. I've really enjoyed that. In, not always for a background because die cut these uh, for flowers. Um, I think there's endless possibilities of what you can do. I really love that colour. So, thank you for joining me again. And until the next video, bye.